As a child, the pig was starved by his abusive father, leading him to run away from home and join up with a group of bandits in the English backcountry. After proving himself, the pig quickly rose to lead his band of brigands, claiming the finest spoils of each raid for his own. He soon took to overeating, becoming morbidly overweight, and using this sort of newfound size to intimidate his enemies. Despite his checkered past, the wolf eventually managed to secure the pig a dukedom, after which he became the wolf's personal enforcer on the battlefield. And although the two often work as a team, the pig actually fears the wolf just as much as he did his own father. For obvious reasons, the princess is very different from the pig. She is someone who comes from privilege. Unlike the sultana, the princess comes from a position where she feels she has something to prove on the battlefield. Um, her drive makes her just as fearless and proud a military leader as any male commander or heir to the throne. The pig interacts with you less frequently than other AI lords. When he taunts the player, the pig often does so while eating, something that isn't helped much by his poor grasp of the English language. As a result, you probably won't mistake him for the smartest opponent on the battlefield, but underestimating him is likely to prove fatal. The pig's castle is a hallmark of traditional crusader design, built using the most balanced tower types. He likes to man these towers with crossbowmen, meaning the core of your attacking forces must be heavily armoured. In terms of castle layout, the pig likes to build thick walls, giving his crossbowmen plenty of room to move in about in squads, and retreat to winter walls if necessary. Uh, the pig also likes to build the occasional thin curtain wall as a trap, sort of fooling the player into attacking an otherwise very heavily fortified part of his castle. So if you see a thin curtain wall, don't immediately assume this is a weak point. Instead, assume the pig will rush his defensive troops to that point and sort of create a killing zone should you break through. When it comes to her sieges, the princess has a tendency to solve her problems by throwing money at them. Her wealthy funds mean that she is able to attack the player relatively early on in the skirmish match, also with a wide range of siege equipment. Units that are normally hard to afford and rarely seen in sieges of other AI lords, like the War Wolf, are more common here. What this means is that fast, high damage charging troops like Macemen or Sassanid Knights suddenly become really important. If you don't have these kind of troops to sally forth and control them at the right times, your castle will be in ruins before you know it because her war machines will just come straight through. When it comes to her units, the princess prefers crusader troops, specifically men-at-arms, swordsmen and archers. Given that she's been under royal protection her whole life, the princess tries to provide this kind of security and protection for her troops, which is the main reason why swordsmen kind of form the backbone of her forces and the brunt of her attack. The pig's army is comprised of macemen and crossbowmen because he prefers these sort of armoured, sort of more damaging troops to the average ones. And he'll attack you sort of harassing and sieging in equal measure. And he'll begin with scouting attacks using macemen, but eventually step up to catapults and trebuchets for longer range attack. As his opponent, your main issue is that macemen deal large amounts of damage to structures, while the siege agents can create a breach for these troops to rush through and overwhelm you. So he likes to throw diseased cows as well, occasionally, you know, softening up the defensive troops, but his main strategy is just to create an opening and then rush as many troops through it as fast as possible. So with the pig, you'll need to kind of fight fire with fire, using a mix of crossbowmen and oil pot throwers to whittle down the health of your opponent and his, you know, the attacking force that he's sending at you. Crossbowmen and macemen both have a rather average armor rating, really, so if you augment your towers with braziers and set fire to ground outside your walls, you'll be at a huge advantage. Her mix of units lends the princess a rather unique, versatile playstyle as she manages to combine the speed of men-at-arms with the strength of crusader swordsmen, backed up by archers. So usually, an army comprised of swordsmen has difficulty attacking when the opposing player takes advantage of slow movement speed, using things like fire or castle traps to sort of stop them and deal as much damage as possible while they can't move out of the way. However, high numbers of men-at-arms, all equipped with a powerful ranged spear attack, means that her attacking forces can strike out against troops and, you know, while the main bulk of her force is edges closer to your castle. Combine this with archers and it means that the princess has tons of close combat or ranged options when it comes to her attack. It means there isn't really a single defense against her and you will require a similarly varied force to take her out either near your castle or on the battlefield. So the pig is not easy to siege, but with the right strategy you can put yourself at a huge advantage. Um, you want to use quick firing siege equipment like catapults and you want to kind of stay away from ballista and trebuchets if you can. And if you do use them, you need to protect them heavily. Macemen are very good at just running up and destroying these things before they even got a chance to shoot. So you want to use this equipment to remove crossbowmen on the walls, using the game's physics to your advantage. I would stay away from horse archers just because their low armor means they're quite vulnerable to that crossbow bolts and um, so the pig can stop them in their tracks quite easily. Uh, once you get inside the wall, basically fire as your friend. Pig likes to group his units up in specific parts of his castle, meaning that 
clouds of disease won't work too effectively. Uh, you want to set fire to a few buildings, get him in a bit of a panic, and resist temptation to just rush up into his keep straight away without taking the people on his walls because you need all the health you can muster to defeat the pig. And if you're being shot from all angles, it's just, it's not going to happen.